Time to spin the wheel of porn. All right, foot fetish it is. Welcome to Fact Theist. I am your host, a sketchy AI version of Paul Bettany. Technology is everywhere these days from cell phones to satellites. Which is great, but totally irrelevant for today's topic. This video is about a form of paraphilia called foot fetish. A lot of people will pay good money for pictures of sexy feet. Foot fetish porn sites are a huge business. But what is a paraphilia? A paraphilia can be described as the experience of intense sexual arousal for anything but human erogenous zones. Such sexual attractions can be for fantasies, situations, objects, individuals, behavior or any combination of them. The term Paraphilia can be coined by Friedrich Krauss back in 1903. It was first used in a non pejorative way by sexologist John Money to describe an unusual sexual interest. Grab a pair of dirty socks and meet me by the tub of dead mice. But according to psychiatrist Glenn Gabbard, this term remains pejorative in most circumstances. The first mention of foot fetishism goes to Berthold of Regenberg back in 1220, way before the dinosaurs. From Jurassic Park. Back to this foot fetish thing. Some research show that it is on rise during some STD epidemics, probably because it is viewed as a safe sex option, unlike you know. Fakina, the woman's Fakina. Oh, mm hmm. This tendency is mostly reported in May. The champagne of genders. <laughs> but what are the causes? Causes might be linked with prenatal development. According to a 2008 study, on the average, men with higher fetish interest tend to have more older brothers, tend to be more left handed, but most of all, have a higher 2D 4D digit ratio. It is a ratio calculated by dividing the second finger length by the length of the fourth one. No. This one is a scout sign. This type of sexual dimorphism is even present in mice. This very ratio is influenced by exposure to androgens like estrogen and testosterone while in utero. But there are also some neuronal differences. Long story short. In the brain there is this thing called the cortex, and in the cortex there is this thing called the soul. Not. Let's do it again. In the brain there is this thing called the cortex, and in the cortex there is this thing called the somatosensory cortex. The somatosensory cortex is in charge of processing incoming stimuli from the outside world. Broadly speaking when you face this brain area, you can map any zone and charge for a given body part. When put back all together with proportional proportions, it turns into this famous homunculus that A-list celebrities can't stop talking about. Collect them all. If you look closely feet and junk are against each other. All those areas are supposed to be separated by some neural pruning during childhood. But sometimes neuron projections may resist or otherwise overlap. Just like for synesthesia. This is probably why it is the most widespread paraphilia in the world. But, as usual, don't forget that more research is needed. This makes me feel like this character from Requiem for a Dream Bathroom scene. I am kinda jealous. Always thinking that just behind some narrow door in all his favorite bars, men in red woolen shirts are getting incredible kicks from things he'll never know. I am your host, Sketchy Paul Bettany. Thank you for watching this episode of Fact Theist. If 
you want to help us producing high level content like this one, clear. either it's all a joke or none of it is, you can tip us with Bitcoin or on Patreon. It's time to spin the wheel for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.